Okay, so I'm going to be using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and the Tried and True Jaclyn Hill Palette. I know she's a little bit controversial, but I really do love this palette so much. So let's get started. I'm gonna be putting all of the brushes that I use down below so I don't have to say them every single time. But I'm gonna be dipping into Heaven. I'm just putting that all over my eye. And I'm looking in my mirror right here, if that's ever why I look to the side. To get a base, and then I'm taking Strip Poker, gotta love the names, and putting that in my crease. And I dip in a couple more times just to get that really good base color. Now this is good for any kind of color of dress. I think personally black would be the best. And then if you have like an accent color, you could add like blue eyeliner, like pink eyeliner. Like my dress is kind of like a bluish dress. So I think I'm gonna be doing more of a silver look. I really like this type of style of brush. This is the Wet n Wild. This is actually from Dollar Tree, but the bristles are just so smooth against my eye. Like some of them are just, they get to be like really rough. Like this is from Essence. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. This is from Morphe, but my favorite is just the $1 one from Dollar Tree that I got four years ago. It's always stood the test of time. So now I'm gonna be dipping into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know all the names, so I'm just gonna be taking these two light brown colors. You can start to see that a little bit more. Now I'm gonna be taking a smaller, denser brush and starting to pack on the deeper brown colors. What I like to do is just bring it down and out and make sure it gets in this V right here. I'm not a pro at makeup. This is just what I like to do personally and I've done for all of my looks. And I like to put it right here, dipping in again. There we go, that's starting to get a little dark. Making sure it gets right here on this outer corner. Then we're gonna start going a little bit more dark because I haven't decided what this look is gonna be yet, but I'm thinking like brown, smoky eye-ish. So I'm gonna be taking this brush and I'm gonna start dipping into these darker brown colors a little bit, like this one right here. Dipping in a little bit again and now adding that black. Just a touch of black, you can already tell. I don't want it to be a huge smoky eye though. See, I think I might have already added too much. So I'm gonna be dipping into this lighter color and just trying to blend it all together. Then I'm making sure the lid gets some too. This is just, again, what I do. I'm sure most of it, not all of it is wrong. Now I'm taking an e.l.f. brush and I'm gonna start packing on that lid color. I really want a silver, light brownish color. So I'm gonna be taking this shade and then I think this shade and eventually going darker. Putting it all over the lid to make sure it gets it. My eyes are hooded so I have to make sure that very bottom gets it because that's all you can see when my eyes are open. You can barely see right here. So right here is the most important part for me. So far so good. Now I'm gonna be taking a little bit darker of a color. Putting that on the mid to outer corner. And then going even darker with the shimmers in this Jaclyn Hill palette. Now I'm gonna go back and with an Alamar Cosmetics with one of these light colors. And make sure it's all blended in nicely. I really like how this look is turning out. Next I'm gonna do just barely a dip of this brown silvery color. And I might do a little bit of the chocolate martini shade. I'm gonna actually get a different brush for that. I'm gonna get this Wet n Wild brush. I'm going into chocolate martini, oh geez. You can tell, that's for sure. That's a lot. Next I'm gonna take 
this and make sure it's all blended. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna take inner corner and we're gonna do the inner corner highlights, which are my favorite. Taking the mix of these two shades. Oh, it's just blinding. I love it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up here just so it doesn't look so super unnatural. And that is the look. This would be good for any kind of dress. And then like, especially in the Jaclyn Hill palette, you could add any of these shades. Like if your dress is this color, if it's this color, maybe like any of these colors, these are all like common dresses. I think this would be a really nice, easy look for you guys to do. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys tune in for some more content next time and look out for more prompt content. Bye.